Hello everybody, I'm Sneaksy Gamer, and I'm back. I've been away for a while now, but I just, I've been wanting to get back to recording, and I just, I haven't been able to, and tonight I just decided, you know what, I'm just going to get right into it. And I'm going to be, I will be returning to my series that I didn't finish at a later time, but for right now I'm starting out with something I've been playing a lot of recently, and that is Ark Survival Evolved. Um, I actually did have a character on the island that was a level 83, and last night I decided, you know what? I had used console commands a couple of times and I just I wasn't happy with what I had done with it and I felt like I didn't really earn all of the stuff that I had gotten because I had used those console commands and basically cheated at some points so I decided I'm gonna wipe the character get rid of it I'll start brand new and that will give me a reason to jump into the recording again so I can make videos on it. So, I'm going to be starting a new character here on the island. Now, I may have played a lot of this, but I don't know a whole lot about it still. I've got the difficulty level way up maximum it can be but I've got a couple of mods here the super spyglass basically just allows me to see the health of a dinosaur and it's different stats on it so I know what I'm getting into if I attack something the bridge just allows me to make bridges that I can use to cross smaller bodies of water without having to go through them which is mostly just a couple of spots that I've used those where it's just I didn't places where I go across frequently and it's just too annoying to keep build to keep going through the water stackable foundations I don't use much but I did need it a couple of times reusable grappling hook is very useful because it's it creates the grappling hook as a separate thing rather than the crossbow and it makes it so that I can well I can reuse it I don't have to craft a new hook every time reusable plus has a few reusable things in it which are such as the bolas or the spear that are items that would normally you wouldn't be able to reuse them where this with this I can it does have a reusable grappling hook in it, but it crashes the game when I use it, so I had to get a different one, so I got that one instead. And then Builder's Helmet I used when I was moving my base from one spot to another. I'm able to use that to, when I'm wearing it, I can pick up structures that I've placed without destroying them. So that just made it easier to move my base around when I needed to, but... I'm going to be starting fresh on the island. I know a good deal about this map, but not not much. I know I know a couple of places pretty well, but I still have some spots that I need to explore quite a bit. But I'm going to be playing it on single player for now. I have made a few modifications to the um, to the um, the normal settings to increase the difficulty of the dinosaurs and survival and everything. Oh, it still leaves my my stuff here, huh? Does that mean my base is going to be there still? Create a new survivor. Okay. Hopefully that doesn't mean my bed is still, or my base is still there. I 
just go with a random survivor. Yeah, there we go, why not? I'll make a couple of modifications though. Huge hands, long arms, and super skinny arms. And then long legs, super skinny legs, and big feet. That looks pretty good, I guess. Not gonna go up there. That's where I start started the first time, but I think I might. I'm thinking I might start over here this time, actually. Because that is going to be a more difficult area than where I originally started. But there should be better, there should be more resources around this one. See, I've explored all of this map except this upper area up here. I'm hoping it won't keep all of that, but if it does, then not much I can do about it. would destroy your previous survivor. Are you sure you wish to proceed? I already deleted my previous survivor, so yes, I'm sure. And I don't know how to solve that thing with the sound that's going on there where it's cutting out. And we've got a, a dangerous enemy right there, right away. Oh man. <laughs> Immediate death. I'm hoping my base isn't still where it was before. Because if my base is still there, that's going to make this a bit too easy for me. Start off by gathering stuff. Just like most survival games, you have to start off punching trees and shit. God, I wish I could turn the brightness down just a bit. That is just way too bright. Oh yeah, I was looking, I want to go to this. Let's go with 1.5 and see what that looks like. Sorry. That yeah, looks a little better. Is that what I think it is out there? Yep, that's Herbivore Island. Okay, I've got her. Does look like the map stayed the way I had it, which kind of sucks, but. I am curious to see if my old base is still there, because if it is, that's... I don't want that. I don't want it to still be there. But it would take me quite a while to get over there. Considering there's danger right there. I think I might just... Avoid going that way for now. There we go. I've got to reuse 
Ankle Spear. That will be very helpful. I need to get some flint so I can make the reusable spear. Wrong button. I need more wood and more fiber. Okay. Of wood. I want to craft two of them because when you craft one, and when you throw it, you have to push the button again to get another one out. Whereas having two of them. When you throw it, it automatically pulls another one out. That's very helpful. Instead of having to reach over and hit the button over and over again every time. I really hope it didn't keep everything I did on this island. I'm hoping it just shows the map. Because there's explorer notes and stuff that I want to be able to collect again. Missed him. Oh, come on, that should have hit you. Got him. Or her. I wasn't, I'm not sure which one it is. Level 56. That's the one that killed me. There was three of them, though, wasn't there? third one I thought I mean I didn't have anything but I'm going to drop all of these things on the ground so this doesn't stay here for hours I thought there was a third one around but I may be wrong That over there is a friendly parasaur. Well, let's apply that level up then. I'm gonna go for a little more health right now. And a water skin. Cause that will be very useful. I need wood and flint for the hatchet. You always level up real quick at first. Doesn't last though. Well, that's already damaged pretty badly, so I'll repair it real quick. Gonna increase my knee damage. I need that. Uh, that wall, that door frame. Because I'm gonna need to start building a base pretty soon. Ooh, a carbonemus. Carbonemus? I don't I don't know how it's pronounced. Whatever that is. Carbonemus. Whatever. A 
carbohydrate. <laughs> Yeah, see, the reason I want the reusable spears is because they break very easily. Like, there's, I think it was like a 3% chance on attacking with them like this that they would break. So, the reusable spear is very useful. You don't have to keep crafting spears over and over again. Which makes it much easier to survive when you're starting out. This is such a fun game, though. I love this game. And the thing is, I'm not even that big on dinosaurs, but it's just so damn cool. I mean, look at this. You can get right up to things like this. It's just awesome. Or... Fit on me, assholes. Now let's get some hide from them this time. That hide will be useful. That one was a level 72 dang. Oh, a purple loot drop. I can't get that yet. Um, This might be a little too dark, because now I can't see anything in the trees. Ah, let's try 1.75, maybe. What? No way. There's no way that... Oh, Jesus, no wonder. <laughs> 1.75. That should be a bit better. That's better. <laughs> I knew something was wrong when it got that bright. <laughs> Are you kidding me? And then it crashes on me. What the fuck? I'm getting very frustrated with this game doing that. It crashes on me a lot. Normally it comes up with an error message of some kind, but now apparently it started just closing on its own for no reason at all. So how far back are you gonna set me now? The character's not even created yet, of course. That's very annoying. Well, I might start over closer to where I did before then. Just so I can see if my old base is there. Because if my old base is there, I'll have to switch to a different map. Because that'll just make it way too easy. Because I've got all this stuff that I have there. and I'd have to start at a different map or find a way to clear this entirely. Yeah, I had quite a few hours put into this beforehand, and I decided, you know what, I'm just going to get rid of it. I'm going to start from scratch and start all over again. Because like I mentioned before, I had used console commands a couple of times, and I just I wasn't happy with 
with the fact that I had done that and I didn't feel like I had earned everything. 99% of it, yes, I had done it on my own. Create new survivor. Let's just go with a random one. I don't even care anymore. That's going to be my closest option, isn't it? Yeah, that's my closest option is going to be South Zone 1. Then I'm just going to have to travel across to get there. Yeah, I don't know how to stop this audio stuttering at first. Actually, I don't need to go back there to check because I had a base that I started over here before, so I can just go over here and look. If the house is gone, it's gone. Good. Now, let me check something. Yeah, I didn't think so. In one of the other maps, you can pick those up. And I was I was like, wait a second. Why was I not able to do that on the island? That's because you can't on the island. You could also pick up sticks like that on that other one. Okay, yeah, this is probably your safest spawn zone to start at. Let's punch this dodo to death. Or knock him out, I guess. I don't even know what dodos eat. Probably plants, so I'd probably have to give him berries. Okay, yeah. Good. Good, good, good. Compy. Level 44 Compy? Shit. And there's two others. I'm done. I'm dead. Because they will start attacking when they're in a group. So unless I can get up off the ground away from them, I'm going to be eaten by Compies, I guess. <laughs> And I don't know how to tame them either. I know you knock them out, but I don't know what you feed them to tame them. God damn it. I'm thinking rather than starting out down here where I did last time, I might go up onto that plateau. There's a plateau up there that I'm going to head to instead, I think. Oh, Jesus, there's a spinal already? That didn't happen before. That's not good. There is already a spinal out here. That's bad for me. Out of all the time I spent in this area, I never saw a spinal out here. Let me guess, I'm going to get eight by piranhas trying to cross here now. Maybe not. Looks like there's no fish. Is that a stego up there? No, it's not. What is it? Maybe it was a stego. Oh yeah, that was a stego. Hello. Level 8 stegosaurus. Yeah, you poop in this game, and that sound scares the hell out of me sometimes when I'm not expecting it, and all of a sudden I hear that. Especially when I'm, like, out 
at night time hiding out in the woods and there's something out there and all of a sudden I hear the poop when I'm trying to listen real carefully for something. <laughs> Spinal over there is going to be a hell of a problem for me. I wish that worked to just hit the button on it. So, as soon as I have the ability to, I'm going to kill that spinal. And yes, I'll be doing it cheaply, but I am going to get rid of it, because I do not want that thing around my spawn zone. I don't want it near my spawn point. That's just asking for trouble. Wait a second. One of those monkeys is around here? this thing, damn it. Fuck. Jesus Christ. something. Gotta get my health back. Because otherwise I'm gonna die. Don't, don't hit it, damn it. No, give me the wood. I need the wood for now. I'll throw thatch in there. Thatch is pretty easy to come by and it's not real heavy. Sounds gross. So does that. Okay, I'm gonna place things in the <clears throat> in the spots I'm used to them being in. Thatch and fiber. Fiber is the most annoying thing to harvest when you're first starting out. Because you have to do it this way by going around to plants and collecting it little by little. I need more wood for that now. Now going up there is going to be more dangerous than where I started before because I did have raptors spawning around here while I was in this area, so that could be a problem. Hopefully it won't be a problem for me, but it could turn into a problem later on or right away. Okay, let's get that second spear crafted. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to use a cliff over here to kill that spinal.
if it's still where it was. And if I can get to the cliff without being killed by something else. Now I'm quite familiar with this area, so I shouldn't have too much trouble exploring around in these areas. I know the safer parts. Oh, where's that spinal? Is that him right there? Yep, they don't normally leave the water's edge very much. Is that a pteranodon I see over there? Okay. They don't usually leave the water much, the spinos. No. Oh. I'm going to take damage from this a bit more than I thought I would. But if I can get that spino over here, I should be able to kill it without any risk of being killed. How do I draw him over here? Because I can't throw my spear that far. And if I get too close over there, he'll be able to follow me up here, so... I don't think I can hit him with my spear from over here, can I? I might be able to throw him far enough, actually. It's going to take some very precise aiming, but I might be able to do it. And he's going to have to stand still for a little bit, too. That one almost hit him, actually. Come on. That should be hitting him. Can the spears just not travel that far? Get your ass over here. Why is it not hitting him? That looks like it should be landing right on him. That one passed him. Oh, come on. How are these not hitting? How have none of these landed? I know I'm not that terrible of an aim. I just don't think they can travel that far. Which means I'm going to have to find a way to get closer, but still stay safe. Which is going to be hard to do. Or he might come closer, actually. He's getting closer. That could be helpful. Oh, come on. How have these not hit him? I 
can't tell me these aren't hitting me. Oh, you asshole. What, is he immune to the spears? No, I know it's not that. It's just... The spear must not deal damage if it travels too far. Or something like that, or I don't know. Or maybe I'm just not hitting him. Looks like I am, but... And I'm dehydrated, which is bad. Those ones will dehydrate me, so I'm not going to eat those ones right now. Once I get this spinal killed, I can go down to the water safely, but... Ah, uh, from here I might be able to get him. Yes, this is a very cheap way of doing this, but it's the only way to get him s killed safely. Is he coming up here, or is he just running away? <laughs> Apparently he's fighting something else now. I'm going to have to just go down there and just run from it like crazy or something. I need water. I got to get down there to the water. I'm going to die if I don't get this, if I don't see, resolve this dehydration. So it's because my character is too hot right now. I'm, I'm running out of water. Where'd he go? Oh, Jesus, over there. I see spinos are huge. And dangerous. They're probably one of the closest rivals to the T-Rex in danger. Which is bad. For it to be right next to my spawn point like this then because this one unlike other spawn points when you choose to spawn at this spot it always puts you out on that part it started me at oh my god this is dangerous as all hell what level is that fucker i wonder I'm dead. Level 44. Okay. Not too dangerous, I guess. I mean, dangerous enough that I don't want to be fighting with him right now, but... I don't have much of a choice. I gotta get him out of here if I want to be able to start through here. Hopefully he's moved a little bit away from that corpse so I can get back to it and gather my stuff. Fucking compies, man. God, I hate these things so much. Yeah, there's three of them. That's enough where they'll start attacking, I think. No, he hasn't gotten away from my corpse yet. Shit. From back there, it looked like he was a little ways away from it, but apparently not. Ah, now he's fighting the Stego. Now I might be able to go out and grab my stuff. Or not. He killed the Stego already. What is he fighting now? Is he eating? Is he attacking the fish? You know, I might be able to find a safe spot right up here somewhere to throw spears at him from, but it's risky.
attached door. Ready? Got your ceiling. If I'm starting out right here, I don't need a sleeping bag. Sleeping bags give you a one-time respawn point. And I don't need that right now. Yeah, if I can get a spear, I should be able to kill him from up here, actually. Because I don't think he'll be able to climb up here, because the terrain isn't very flat. He shouldn't be able to climb it. one of those because I need that to get the flint for the spears shit okay so I gotta come over here okay well over here is safe it looks like except the seagull things those are or a pegomastex god damn it I hate those things they steal shit from you and then they run away with it Oh, did I get one stone? No, I did not. I was going to, and then that thing freaked out at me. That's why I ran. That's right. Fuck it. Wait, to tame these guys, you just let them t take things from you, or what? Is that how you tame them? Give me that. I'm gonna craft this pick, and then I'll just kill him with the pick. Or her, I guess. Oh my god, this thing's got... It's a level 104, no wonder. And it doesn't even have the stim berry anymore. Now the other one will steal my pickaxe now, I think. Because they seem to steal more valuable stuff more often. <laughs> now I just need wood. Picks gather thatch from trees more and hatchets gather wood more. Picks also gather flint and metal from rocks more, and hatchets gather just stones from them more. And with the with corpses, um, picks will gather meat more, and hatchets will gather hide more. I can use these to t take down the Pago Mastex because I don't like those things being around me either. Because, like I said, they'll steal your stuff and run away with it. There you are. Level 92 on that one. Flint, please. Okay, now. Hopefully this is far enough away from, or high enough 
up that the spinal can't reach me. But now he's across on the other side again. Lovely. Yeah, I don't think he'll be able to reach me because I don't think he can, uh, he could climb that, couldn't he? Shit. If he comes back over here, maybe up here would be safe. Can I hit him from over here? Probably not. Over here, asshole. Where are these landing? That was like right on him. How am I not hitting him? Oh, that one hit. Ah, shit, you can get up here. Ah. Damn it. <laughs> well, that wasn't as safe as I thought it was. Oh my god, this sucks. But yeah, now I'll start in the exact same spot as I did the last two times. That's what makes this part, having something like that in it, dangerous. Jeez, you scared the hell out of me. At least that thing won't come down and take my food because I don't have any food. So now I can get to my first corpse at least. And the spinal's up there now. I can't go out in the water like I could to avoid some of the other types of dinos because they're fast in the water. They are very quick in the water. Am I just going to have to keep throwing them at it and just keep dying until it's dead? But it's going to heal some every time it eats my corpse, too. God damn compies. God, I hate these things. What level are you, damn it? gonna get rid of this fucking spinal it's a level 44 and it's probably got a shitload of health so my only option is gonna be to get up above it where it can't reach me but in a spot like this that's not very easy to do down killing stuff down there now or something oh no he's right there these rocks aren't high enough he can hit me here but maybe I can drag him over somewhere else where I could get him I 
heard something get hit. That's what I heard it hit. Where'd he go? Where the hell did it go? How'd it get over there without me even seeing it move? Jesus. Yeah, see what I mean? They're faster than hell in the water. If I can draw him over this way a little further, I can get up there and he won't be able to reach me, but how the hell am I going to do that? Those are harmless. That's an oviraptor. Oviraptor, oviraptor, I don't know. Baryonyx over there. Damn it, why can't he fight the spinal? They attack anything they see in the water, pretty much. I heard the sound behind me and it scared the hell out of me. There, it was just that guy again. Maybe I'll have to just build my house and come back after that spinal later on. And just hope it doesn't come and find me. It shouldn't travel up there at all. I might actually build a smaller house right up on that thing because that's a pretty safe area. Plus, then I... No, because I need room for dinosaurs after I tame them. I need to keep tamed dinosaurs in somewhere. I'd need room for them, so I can't do that. But up here on this part might not be a good idea, but that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking up here on this big plateau, because this place is pretty pretty wide open and shouldn't be too too terribly dangerous. I mean, yeah, it can be a little dangerous at first, but it shouldn't be too terribly dangerous. This would just be a temporary base anyways. Might go right out there in the middle of those rocks. Man, I'm gonna need a lot of thatch and stuff though. What did I just hear? What was that noise? Oh, it was one of the monkeys, damn it. I heard the monkey making noise and then I came over here to investigate and now I've got compies. Somewhere, right there. never killed one of those monkeys. I don't think there'd be a reason to really. They might give me um, fur though. Oh fuck, I gotta get back down to get some more water now. Is that a Gallimimus already in this part? That's not normal. Oh, actually it might be normal, but that's not what I'm used to.
I bet those monkeys will give me fur. Yeah, one. Ooh, a tech parasaur already. I found one of them right away last time, too. That I can get that, I think. Yes, I'm level six. I can open that thing. That'll give me some supplies I can use to start things off. That should give me some supplies I can use to start off. Which is good because it's getting to be nighttime. Do I have some berries I can eat real quick here? Those ones, I guess. Those things suck. They'll swoop down and steal your food. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. That spino disappear to now. Hopefully it moved up the coast farther and I don't have to worry. Man, my food's gonna run out again right away though. Cause I'm cold. When you're cold your food decreases faster. When you're too hot your water decreases faster. And I can eat raw meat to sate my hunger, but it doesn't work as well as... That's another multicolored one. I might go and grab that too then. Those ones work great when you're first starting out. Come on, gather the rest of the shit, damn it. This shouldn't be too dangerous to go over here. And if it is, well, not like I've got much. Don't have a whole lot to lose, so. Okay, when it gets to be nighttime, I'm going to increase the gamma a bit so I can see better. I might just do it now. It just makes it a hell of a lot easier if I can see threats before they see me. I thought I heard something over there. We've got a dilo here. Well, I call them dilos. I've heard them called dillos. I don't know which is the correct pronunciation. It just dilo sounds right to me, so that's what I call it. Ah, good. 
can use those things to start off a base, actually. Let's get that foundation started. Get a couple of walls at least. Three, three walls, door frame, and a door. There we go. Now I just need a, a ceiling when I'm able to craft one. That's what I hate. Crafting, you go slower than hell while you're crafting stuff. I'm already slowed down because I've got, um, I'm carrying so much. I don't need all of these things. I'm encumbered now. Really? Did I craft one of those when I didn't need to? I don't need all three of these either. Now the water skin leaks water over time, so it's not... Not incredibly useful, but it is helpful at first. What do I really need? Let's at least try to make it back to that fire I've got. Are you kidding me? Another one of you fuckers. Yeah, see, they steal your water skin all the time, or later on when I get, like, glass jars, or, um, or canteens, they'll steal those. That seems to be what they like to steal, is that stuff. Let's get back to that fire, hopefully. level 72 and I killed it in a single hit. God damn you. Bastards. God, I hate those things. They just stole the only food I had. And they eat it, so you can't even get it back. Like, you can get this stuff back from a Pagomasta, so you can't get stuff back from these guys, because they eat it on you. They'll steal your food and then they'll eat it. Okay, I'm just gonna eat a raw meat for now. So I lose a little health, but I... My hunger goes up a little bit, so I'm okay for a little while. It won't continually be draining my health like it would be if I hadn't ate something. Just long enough so I can get back to that fire, hopefully. <sighs> Fuck. This game is much more dangerous when you increase the difficulty by a bunch. When I first started out, the, the um, default setting for the difficulty was 0 0.2, and I've got it set to the maximum of 1 now, so it's... It's a lot more difficult, actually. Surprisingly, it's way more difficult. Please let this be safe around my fire. I'm gonna have to build a base pretty quickly here then. As the first one's done, I can eat it, and then I'll be okay for a little bit while the others cook. Come on. Okay, let's...
let's level up then. Let's go with carrying weight because I'm going to need to carry a lot of stuff. I won't be able to craft that for a while. Let's just get the armor. Oh, what I can of it. I find this funny now when the next one comes up, it'll have four of three items in it. Four of three. I've had them up to five of three. When you're cooking with wood, it leaves charcoal. So if you've got it full like that, it'll give you five of three items in it then, which is kind of funny. If it was a raptor, it probably would have attacked this guy by now. Oh boy, a, a, it's raining now. Which I find weird that that doesn't do anything to your fire, but I'm glad. That ain't a raptor. What is it though? Maybe it is a raptor. It's a tech whatever it is. Yeah, that's a tech raptor, all right. I'm in trouble now. I'm in big trouble now because those things are fast and deadly. idea what level it is, so, whoops, I accidentally killed the Parasaur, get back here you asshole, it's gonna come running back and kill me, isn't it? that tech raptor at. I should be able to get up above it here and kill it without it being able to reach me if I can find where it went. The only problem is it's harder than hell to see through these trees. Those guys are harmless. See, this is where having my spyglass would come in handy. 
I can zoom in and look around a little bit. But yeah, those guys, those are harmless. Even if you attack them, they just run away. that the raptor looks like it he's dead no it don't look like it's dead it is dead. I don't want to get too close and find out it's not, though. The way it's laying there, it looks like it might be dead. It is. What the hell killed it? What in the world killed you? Oh, I'll harvest you. But what killed it? Ah, I bet it was that Stego. It probably tried to fight it. Probably picked a fight with that Stego and lost. It's almost daytime now. That triceratops go? Did it go over there somewhere? Probably. Next thing I'm gonna do actually before I set up now nah, I better set up a base first. I don't need to place a sleeping bag right here because there's no need. I can get back here from over there without an issue. I'm gonna let this finish cooking up the rest of this meat and then I'm gonna go over that way. There's an explorer note that I wanna check if it's still there or if I've got it from my other character. Because if the explorer notes are all picked up, then that's gonna suck because those are a good boost for your experience. They're very helpful for gaining levels. I need more fiber, I think, to craft more of the armor, so. I don't need to set up my base just yet. And this is a relatively safe place usually, so. I mean, compared to other places, it's relatively safe. 
it's not too far from the spawn point, so I don't need to set up a base to have a bed or anything. be nice to set up a base though so I don't have to carry all that shit with me. At least get those pieces of it set up. I can always adjust it later on. Is that a Trudon? It's acting like one. Yep. Those things are dangerous. They're not aggressive during the day, but at night they will attack you and they will poison you and kill you very quickly. Another Dilo. Instantly dead. Companies, man. Jesus Christ. Compies are so annoying. I don't even harvest them usually because they're not even worth it. Packy? Patchy, Packy, whatever. Yep. Level 88, holy crap. Dang. gonna have to get rid of that true down if I want to base right there because at night it will become aggressive and attack me and they can break your base I think they can break thatch and they might be able to damage wood as well I don't remember for sure no fuck it I'm just gonna go right here Oh, I'll go under this tree over here. Foundation. Three walls. Oh, door frame can go right there. Wall. This is mostly just to get these things out of my inventory, so I'm not carrying them. And place that there. Now, level up, add a little more health here. Spyglass, it's going to be a while before I can make one of them. Because I need crystal, which is going to be difficult to find. Or not difficult to find, but difficult to safely get to. Because it's across that water over where we last saw the spinal. Is 
this is going to hurt. I'm not going to draw up there. The water skin's empty now, so I'm going to have to refill it. This is a dangerous place to be going past. Stay away from me, asshole. Knowing my luck, I'm going to run into an alpha raptor or some shit over here. surprise me to find a raptor in here. But the place I want to get to is over here, so I don't have much of a choice. I'll leave the dodos alone. I don't have a need for them. Not yet, anyways. Later on, when I want to be making kibble and stuff, I could tame some to get eggs from them. But they're not really that useful to me right now. I will have to be careful here, though, because there have been predators around here when I've come here before. Oh. Well, hopefully those dodos mean it's safe. But what I want to go to is right through here, I believe. Yep. Right there. Ah, it's not. It is still here. Good. Oh, I just get the boost from it. It doesn't show me the note again. Shit. That sucks. Because when I was coming through here, I wasn't reading the explore notes, and there's a spotting and inventory for them, but they don't work in there. It's a known issue. They don't show up in your inventory in the tab for them, so I guess I won't get to read the explore notes unless I find new ones. Let's get some water before I s die of dehydration. At least it wouldn't be dysentery. Yeah, see, like, the bridges, I used one here to cross over to that island, so I wouldn't have to go across that water every time. There's another explore note back in here somewhere, but this is going to be a bit more dangerous. Because raptors can be in here. And at this point, raptors are probably going to be a very deadly opponent for me. Not that they're not deadly, but later on they get a bit easier to handle. Right now, they're very dangerous. Right now, raptors are probably going to be one of the most deadly opponents I'll run into. Okay, Triceratops. That's fine. Here we are. Where is it now? There it is. How many level ups do I have? Eight. <laughs> Yeah, if you find another explorer note recently, when you just recently found one, holy crap, does it give you a huge boost? Ooh. I can't open this one yet, can I? Nope, gotta be level 15, but if I apply those level ups, I will be that level. Ooh, 
stuff to make a wooden base. Nice. That's helpful. You know what? I'm going to kill these dodos at this point because I'll get major experience bonus from it right now. Right now I get quadruple experience F for a while after you get an explorer note like that. Well, some of them are only only give double experience afterwards, but those ones where it's got the purple thing down in the the purple thing down there in the corner, I get quadruple experience for a little while now. something that's trying to kill me. I'll get those engram things after I'm done with this. I want to take advantage of the quadruple experience as much as I can. I wonder what level that Trudon up there was. Ooh, I've got an idea. Probably not a very good idea, but I have an idea. I might be able to kill that trike from up above and get a nice chunk of experience. I actually used this cliff to kill a brontosaurus one day. Man, those things look weird when they die. Because they ragdoll and their neck just folds like a limp noodle and it's so goofy. Looks so fucking weird. How am I going to get down from there, though? Oh, well, I'll figure it out. If I drop and die, oh, well, not a big deal. Looks like there's a lower edge there I can drop to, so it shouldn't be too difficult to get back down, maybe. Oh, it was only a level 4, so I didn't get much. Eh, I might be able to use this. Now I'm going to take damage, but you're not going to kill me, so... You'll give me a lot of hide, and I need hide right now more than I need raw meat. kill that spinal right now, I'd get a ton of levels out of that. I wonder where he went, actually. If he's where I'm hoping he is, I might be able to kill him now. Oh yeah, I've still got that 700 seconds yeah 741 seconds i'm 
Is that a Megalodon right there, or is that one of the dolphin things? I don't think there would be... Oh, that's a Megalodon over there. I think that was one of the dolphins I saw right in here, though. I don't know where it went now. I think I see a Megalodon over there, though. I saw a fin sticking out. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy. More supplies I can use. Good. I'm just gonna leave their corpses for now. I don't need to give a shit off of them right now, so... Same with that one. I don't need to shit on it right now, so I'm just going to leave it. Let's put one more on my carrying weight. I'm going to need quite a few points on that, honestly. There's the spinal. Yeah, see, look at that. He stole my water skin again. Please tell me I didn't hit that trike. Good. <laughs> Seems like that's what they like to steal, is your water skins and canteens and shit like that when you have them. So the spinal's not quite where I was hoping it would be, but it's close. I might be able to use this to my advantage with him being over here. If I can get around him and up to that cliff, I might be able to kill him from that. Shit. How am I going to do that, though? And I don't think I'll be able to hit him from that far away. Ah, you know what? I might be able to craft a bow now. If I can craft a a bow, I could make some arrows and shoot him from a ways farther away. Plus, this is going to be a little more dangerous to go up in that area. But, whatever. Actually, if I can get up onto there, that will be more than sufficient to kill it. Let's see if I can get up there. Can I jump over to that? Oh, shit, no. There we go. This is more than enough to get away from him and kill him. And it's not too terribly far away either. If I could just hit him. This should be high enough that it can't get to me, though. It's gonna take a lot of these spears to kill it, though. Yep, I'm far enough away he can't reach me now. Good. This is gonna take a lot of spears, though. Get back here. He's running away. Seriously? He's running that far away? Oh, he's trying to kill stuff so he can heal, I guess. Okay, let's see if I can craft a bow, actually, now. If I can use these engram points to learn how to make a bow. Where's Bola's bow? Stone arrows. I need fiber and wood for that. Let's go ahead and go and get those things then. Shall we? 
Oh shit, he came back. He came back now. Okay. Of course he did. Why wouldn't he come back? Shit. That is not where I wanted. Oh shit, don't go down there. That's just dangerous. Where'd he go? There he is. What the, what the fuck am I seeing? Why is that, is that trike orange? Weird. I can kill this guy, I know I can, it's just going to take a ton of time. But is it really worth all the time? I'm not going to kill him before that experience runs out, I bet. But even with all the bonus experience, killing it will give me a good amount of experience. Ooh, you're a bit closer than I wanted you to be. Don't come up over there, you'll be able to reach me. Ow, fuck. How the fuck? I'm dead. <laughs> How did you do that? <laughs> How did he do that? Damn it. <laughs> How the fuck did he manage to do that? Damn it. That sucks wasn't supposed to be able to reach me there. I guess that's what I get for trying to be cheap about it. I gotta get back there and get my stuff though, and now he's gonna be right on my corpse. Lovely. I'll probably have to get this other one here, use the spears to draw him away from that one, and then come back for that one after he kills me again. <laughs> Gonna increase the gamma again before. Oh, it's not not as late as I thought it was in the day. Never mind. Got him over there now. Take the stuff that I need out of here. The rest of it I'll just drop on the ground here. No, it wasn't him that I saw. Shit. That means my corpse is still being guarded by a spinal, doesn't it? Oh no, he's right over there. So I should be able to get to my corpse without an issue then. Maybe. Maybe. Hopefully, I can get my corpse without an issue. Ah, he is awfully close to it.
drop some stuff as soon as I'm far enough away that he won't chase me, hopefully. And what do I got that I don't need? I'm going to put my armor back on. I don't need those metal right now. I can't do shit with those zinc for a while. Don't need all of that meat. Right now I can run still. Kind of. I'm slow, but I can run. So much for getting that experience from him. I am. I'm just going to have to do it later. God damn you. These things seem to be pretty wimpy, actually. These things never seem to have a whole lot of health, these seagull things. Trying to hit it before it reached me. I just lost that stack of 20 raw meat, I think. Damn it. Get back here. Did I lost that stack of 20 that I had? I think. Maybe not. Okay, let's let's get these engram points applied. I'm gonna have to do that if I want to craft a simple bed later on. for later on. Mortar and pestle, spark powder. Let's get these wooden things. Door frame, door. Cementing paste will be used later on. Gunpowder. Hide armor. I don't have enough for all of it, but for some of it I can. I can make some of it there at least. I need 40 wood and 20 fiber for that. And fiber is just so annoying to get in the early game. I mean, not that it's not annoying later on, it's just easier later on. Fiber. 
for now. Which is a bunch of the plants around, but it takes forever to gather it. Especially since I'm now encumbered, but I don't want to drop any of my shit either. The next thing I'm going to build... Oh, wait, I've got four spears. I don't need four. Split half. Where'd those ones go then? Drop. I want to build a bow next, so I've got a better ranged weapon than throwing spears. Because these spears aren't that great for ranged combat. They're not that great for any kind of combat, really, but especially ranged combat. I need one more, of course. I had one, I have one short. There we go. But then I need to craft a bun get a bunch of fiber, thatch, and flint to craft arrows. I'm about to level up pretty quick here, so I'll just deal with the being encumbered until that point. There's a rock right there I can get flint from. Yeah, that's what sucks when you're encumbered. You can't jump and you can't run. Yeah, I knew I had enough to repair it. Craft 33 arrows. It's not that many, but it will be enough to help me out for now. Of course, it was the fiber I needed, not the thatch. I can't wait until I get a smithy and I can craft the sickle for gathering fiber. That is so much faster and more efficient. I just saw a grab something. Yeah, I knew it. all the raw fish meat. I don't need, didn't I get a wood pillar? Yeah, I don't need that. Those things weigh a bit. I don't need these. I'm not going to be building any fences for a while. I won't be building fences until I've got dinosaurs tamed, so I can keep them in the fences to keep others away from them, to keep the wild dinos away from them. Now I need more flint. Dilo, my first victim. Nice. Works pretty good. And I got both my arrows back. Good. I'm 
carrying too much to be running. Shit. I mean, I can run, but it's not really running. I forgot to refill my water skin when I ran out. Let's refill that now then. Yeah, once I get the smithy, I'll be able to craft a crossbow, which will be much more helpful than this bow, even. I actually don't really... Oh, yeah, I do need the spears, because I need something to fight at, uh, at short range for now, still. These will offer me better protection than what I'm wearing. But they weigh more. They're heavier. I need more wood to craft a shield, which I kind of want to do. Wrong, wrong tool for gathering wood. One more tree will probably give me enough. Yep. The shield isn't going to be too useful for me actually right now, but... I do want to have one, just so that I've got it, because you can use it to block damage a bit. Not with a spear out, but... Uh, I don't need all these stones. Let's drop half of them. Shit, that's right, because it's... When it's down on the bottom like that, it goes off screen, so it won't work. For whatever reason, I don't know why, but that's, that's why I had that sorted the way I did, I think. But yeah, this bow does a lot more damage than the um, than the spears do. He just popped into existence out of nowhere. This is a bad idea. I'm not going to do that. Mm, you know what? Fuck it. If I die, I die. Let's get this on out of the way. Yeah, my torpedo is going way up. And I'm gonna die now. It put me to sleep and now it's gonna kill me. Please just keep running around me in circles until I wake up again. Damn it, and now I fall asleep again. <laughs> Fuck. 
and it's going to take a lot longer to come back down this time. Oh man. I'm going to die of dehydration, aren't I? No, I won't. Hopefully, as long as it keeps falling pretty quickly, I should be okay. I'll just have to drink some water as soon as I wake up. Oh, I didn't know there was a second one there. Otherwise, I would have just left them alone. did I kill the other one at? How in the hell can I not find it? I need flint to make a torch. Let's do that quick. help me to see out here as it's getting a little darker. Uh, golem slot number seven. Might help me to spot where that thing is dead at now too. Maybe it won't. I didn't think it was too far away from me. Maybe the other one accidentally ate it while it was attacking me. They do that. They'll actually eat corpses while they're attacking you. Nighttime is not a good time to be out here though. carrying weight. More fiber, of course. Hopefully, if I don't go far, I'll be okay. Wrong button. Seven is what I was looking for. Because with the torch, all you can still gather fiber and stuff like that. And then I need fiber for hide pants as well. And my next thing I want to get crafted is a storage box so I can keep all my stuff somewhere and I don't have to keep carrying it all with me. Let's get that hide armor on. What do I need for 
for a storage crate thing. I might just build a bed so I've got one. I need more wood for that. I'm just gonna build a bed so I've got one. Now I need more fiber again. short really and then I need a bunch of wood to craft a bed or not a bed I just crafted a bed to craft a storage thing small. Not enough room in here and it's got to be on a floor. So guess my bed will be right here. it obstructed? I'm off to a decent start, I guess, considering how many times I've died already. I wish those would just snap to the right spots on there. What do I need for another wood ceiling? A lot of wood. Oh, this isn't going to be my t my permanent home anyways. guess this is probably where I should end this one then. So we're on day three. So that's it for this episode. Thank you everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed and as always I'll see you in the next one.